if you couldn't already tell by my oversized hat, it's Thanksgiving. Time to eat our hearts out in fancy clothes with our family members who probably won't get along. So today in history, let's deep dive into the origins of Thanksgiving so that you can know why it is that we all gather around a table on a Thursday and shove endless amounts of turkey into our mouths. So let me take you all the way back to 1621, where on a faithful November Thursday in Plymouth, Massachusetts, colonists in the Wampanoag tribe shared an autumn harvest feast that is widely acknowledged as the first Thanksgiving. However, there is some question behind that. Some Florida historians argue that that's not the case. In 1565, nearly 60 years before Plymouth, a Spanish fleet came ashore and planted a cross in the sandy beach to christen the new settlement of St. Augustine. To celebrate the arrival and give thanks for God's providence, the 800 Spanish settlers shared a festive meal with the native Tamukuan people. So, are there two first Thanksgivings? Well, some people believe so. One thing that you probably already know about Thanksgiving is that this holiday isn't celebrated on a specific day. Unlike Christmas, Thanksgiving is encircled around the 25th. Instead, Thanksgiving is always celebrated the fourth Thursday of November. However, did you know that that wasn't always the case? The Thursday of Thanksgiving has always been flopped around. Back with President Lincoln, he proclaimed that Thanksgiving were to be celebrated the fourth Thursday of November. However, in 1865, Thanksgiving was celebrated the first Thursday of November because of a proclamation by President Andrew Johnson. And in 1869, President Ulysses S. Grant chose the third Thursday for Thanksgiving Day. It wasn't until 1939, under President Franklin D. Roosevelt, that he signed legislation declaring that Thanksgiving Day be celebrated under the fourth Thursday of November. So now that we've recapped the flopping of Thanksgiving Day, have you ever thought to yourself, why is it that we eat turkey on Thanksgiving? Boil, your turkey's here. All right, let's do this. Well, it all stems back to 1621, where in the first Thanksgiving, supposedly, history states that in the meal between the Wampanoag people and the pilgrims, the Wampanoag people brought deer, while the pilgrims brought wild fowl, basically meaning that they brought birds that are hunted for. Whilst the possibility exists that these birds could have been turkey, historians state that it was most likely duck or geese. So, with the huge possibility of turkey not being eaten at the first Thanksgiving, how did we start eating turkey? Well, let me take you to the 19th century where turkey was becoming a popular dish to serve at large gatherings. Now, why was that? Simple. Because there was a lot of turkeys and they were big enough to feed a whole family. How big is that? It's about 19 pounds. It's like me when I was born. However, it wasn't until 1843 when one of the most popular Christmas stories, A Christmas Carol, came out where in the book, they brought light to the idea of turkey being a holiday food. That's part of the reason of why we eat turkey on Christmas as well. So, I think it'd be best to assume that turkeys aren't big fans of Christmas stories. Smith! Another big staple of the Thanksgiving holiday is football. Watching people in helmets throw pigskin around on Thanksgiving has always been synonymous with the holiday. But how did that come to be? This time I'm gonna kick that football clear to the moon! God! Well, it all started in 1934, when the Detroit Lions hosted a game against their rival Chicago Bears on Thanksgiving Day. The reason that they hosted the game on Thanksgiving Day was because local MLB team Detroit Tigers weren't playing on that day. By hosting a game on a day where the most popular sports team didn't play, the Lions saw it as an opportunity to gain more popularity. And that's exactly what happened. In 1966, the Cowboys caught on to the Lions about why they were playing on Thanksgiving. And ever since that year, they started playing on Thanksgiving too. Barring a couple exceptions, the Lions of Cowboys have played on Thanksgiving Day ever since. And many, many memorable moments have come. Doug Peterson to hold. Here. Watch what happens. It's Leon Lett. No. Oh, Lett, who is haunted by a Super Bowl. Sorry, Dallas. So now that you know what makes Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, go eat your heart out, watch the Lions lose, and please don't start the political conversation at the table. <laughs>